Welcome to the latest episode of Branding the Experience. We discuss ways where we can create environments where employees actually want to come to work and customers want to keep coming back. Hi, I'm Ken Bader, your host for Branding the Experience, and was just reviewing a presentation I had done a while back uh, in creating a, a promotional speaker video for myself. And one of the things that dawned on me is is in this show we never really talked about you know what is it that i mean by the experience what is a customer experience or client experience or member experience yeah how especially in a service based oriented company you know what exactly does that mean and and how does that distinguish itself from the product that we actually offer well one of the little scenarios that I that I do in a lot of my speaking sessions is in order to explain what I mean by experience and more importantly branding the experience, I use one of my favorite brands, one I know I'm sure you've heard of, uh, which is Starbucks, as an example. So let's watch uh, one of my presentations as I take the audience through the idea of branding the experience and using Starbucks as the foundation. Haven't had a chance to have a cup of coffee before this, hopefully you have, so you can stay awake for, for my presentation and my jokes. but. Yeah, I'm a big Starbucks fan. In fact, everybody stand up for just a minute. I'll let you get back to eating for in, in just like 10 seconds. And I promise you I'm not going to try any type of artificial energy creation where I have you do calisthenics or, or meet 15 people in 10 seconds and get eight business cards or anything like that. It's just, it's just an unofficial survey. All right, first of three questions. If you do not drink coffee, Go ahead and sit down. For all of those, including me, that keep standing, what's wrong with these people? <laughs> how, do you, how do you operate during your day? All right, second question. Vodka. Yes. <laughs> is that wrong? That, no, that is always the answer, especially if you're talking to me. Second question. For those of us that drink coffee and we're standing, if you've never had Starbucks coffee, Go ahead and sit down. Ironically, sometimes I get a couple of people that sit down that actually have never had a Starbucks coffee. All right, last question. For those of us that are standing, we love coffee, we've had Starbucks at least once. If we think, if you think that Starbucks is the best tasting coffee you've ever had in your entire life, continue to stand. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Matt and Mike are exempt because they're behind the bar. It's not the best coffee. Exactly. It's not the best tasting coffee. In fact, we have about 30 people here, and everybody sat down. Every once in a while, I'll get one or two people out of like maybe, I'd say, an average of 50 that continue to stand. So the real question is. If Starbucks is not the best tasting coffee, and if that's unanimous vote here, that Starbucks isn't the best tasting coffee, then why arguably is it the number one coffee brand in the world? Why? Branding. Well, it's everywhere in branding, but you know, there was at one time nobody knew who the heck Starbucks was. What? They weren't everywhere, they were one location in Seattle. And the ironic thing, and I know we have some, some marketers here in the room, you can back me up on this story. I believe Starbucks actually grew in the beginning without any traditional marketing at all, or very, very little. And now they're arguably the number one coffee brand. So how do they do it? Consistent experience. Consistent experience. Somebody, somebody read the brochure for this program. Good job. <laughs> a consistent, a consistent experience. Whether they, whether they did it consciously or instinctually, 
they got the brand culture strategy alignment question right. And what did they do? They created a brand, they created a business that frankly didn't revolve around the coffee. Coffee is a, or an important brand association for them, but it's not the brand association. They created a program that was, as Howard Schultz said, the third place of social activity. You wanted to be an extension of your front porch because he figured out that the first place of social interaction was your home. And your second place was at work. And frankly, we probably spend more time at work than we do at home with our family. And some of us are nodding our heads, yeah, I'd rather be at work. And then the third place he found, especially going to, to Italy and seeing the baristas and seeing the coffee shops, that people would stand there and sit there for hours and talk to their friends and family, and that became the third place. He wanted to bring that concept here. And the coffee, while it needed to be good, was actually a secondary association. Just for comparison purposes, another brand of coffee, Seattle's Best. Their brand was all centered on the actual product, on the coffee. How do you think they got the name or created the name Seattle's Fest? I'll take a flyer. They won a contest locally in Seattle. That's, that's a good guess. They see you're going to be my best pupil for this workshop. Thank you very much. What's, what's your name? Laura. Laura? Okay, we're going to be talking a lot, Laura. Okay. Maybe we'll, well, maybe we'll make it this a one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> but yes, they won it. Laura's right. They won a contest. In fact, they won several contests for the best tasting coffee in the area. So they call it Seattle's Bus. And they built a brand, built all their marketing. They built their business around the taste of their coffee. Who owns Seattle's Bus today? Starbucks. Exactly. So what can we take from that? Well, if nothing else, especially going back to my whole tagline, is we need to create an environment. We need to create an environment for employees, and we need to create an environment for our customers, members, or clients that is going to set ourselves apart from the competition. Because if we set that environment and create a true experience and not just simply selling a product we can truly brand ourselves in a differentiating way from our competitors in probably practically any industry that we can talk about thank you for spending some time with me today and as always here's hoping that you're branding the experience at a very high level for your employees and the people you serve Take care.